Hey, this is Jenna with Jams with Jenna, and today I am going to show you how to do a pedicure with Jamberry nail wraps. I know this is something that a lot of people are intimidated by, and once you get the hang of it, it's really not that difficult. So today we are going to learn how to do a pedicure with Jamberry nail wraps. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you need when you're going to do your pedicure is your nail wraps. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the pedi pack off of this sheet of wraps. So that's these two largest wraps. I'm just going to cut them right off. Okay. I know that the second largest wrap fits my big toe and I use the largest wrap for my other eight smaller toes. So I'm going to take my orange stick and I'm going to kind of fold the plastic and use my orange stick to just pick up the edge of the wrap. All right. And then I kind of just roll the stick down to the center of the wrap, make sure it's stuck to the wrap, and then go ahead and just cut it off of there. All right, so now I have my half wrap on my stick. I've already gone ahead and prepped my toenails with my nail prep cleanser. It's basically similar to alcohol. Um, I am going to have a hard time getting my foot up here on the desk where you guys can see what I'm doing, so I did that ahead of time. But you want to use either alcohol or a nail prep cleanser to make sure that your toes are not oily and ready to put wraps on. So I'm going to turn on my Jamberry mini heater. You can also use a hair dryer for this. Just like heat up for a second. I love the heater because it's silent. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and heat up your wrap just for a couple seconds with the sticky side towards the heat. We're gonna just want it to become soft and pliable. All right, here's the fun part. Oh, all right, so you're gonna just take and stick the wrap to your toenail. I don't recommend doing this with your leg up on a desk if you can help it. Okay, and I'm gonna take my rubber pusher and just make sure it's adhered. I'm gonna let it cool off a second and then we'll trim it as soon as it's cooled. I just use toenail clippers on my toes because they're nice and wide and I just clip a bit of my toenail with it. You guys, this might be the hardest thing I've ever done as a pedicure with my foot on the desk. This might be harder than painting my toenails when I was pregnant. All right. So then I just trim the excess, make sure there's no sticky parts left sticking out that aren't on a nail. All right. And the big toe is all set. I'm going to do the other toe later on. So I'm just going to take that half off and stick it to the other piece of my sheet that's empty. So I can show you how I cut this part. So this is kind of my trick for this whole thing. I'm going to kind of reposition my camera here. Okay. So this is how I do this. I cut this wrap all the way in half. And it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Your toenails are probably not long enough to need this whole piece. So what I do next is I cut through the wrap but not all the way through the plastic. So I'm going to cut this into four pieces. So I cut all the way through the wrap but not all the way through the plastic so that my little pieces are all still stuck on here. Okay, then I will do the same thing with my other tiny piece here. Oops, I failed. <laughs> it's tricky on this side because it's not as long. Okay. All right. So then what I do is I go back and I know that my toes, kind of like my fingers, have, you know, a curve on either side. They're not perfectly straight across flat. 
So what I do is I go back to my little sheet here. My thumb is stuck. All right. And I cut just the corner off of each one of these. And then that kind of makes it look like it actually fits my toe. And this does not by any means have to be perfect. Nobody is going to be down on the ground examining your toes perfectly. Um, I actually leave one of these for my baby pinky toe flat because my pinky toe is flat and I just trim it a little bit. So that will be my pinky toe. Okay, we're going to reposition again. Haul my foot back up here on the table. So I just do the same thing as I did before. Bend the plastic, grab onto the wrap with my orange stick. I'm gonna put it in front of my heater, which is now off camera for just a second. And haul my foot back up here on the desk for ya. Okay, and then I just take that little piece that I cut Stick it to my toenail. Let it cool off just a second. And then I'm going to just trim the wrap down with just the tiniest edge of my toenail. And that's really all there is to a pack, you guys. It's much easier than it seems. So the next piece I'm just going to take bend back the plastic, pull it off with my cuticle pusher, stick it in front of the heater for a second, that one's a little high, and you can definitely reposition these if you get them in the wrong place, okay, let it cool for just a second, and then just go ahead and trim. So, I mean, a pedicure can go super, super fast. People always think that the pedicure is going to take forever and be really difficult to do, but honestly, it's fairly simple, especially if you get all the pieces cut ahead of time. Okay, here are my finished toes. Super easy. Takes like under five minutes. I love doing my toes with jams because they stay on for like ever. I don't know. I think they'd stay on until I took them off. Maybe someday, maybe in the winter I'll do an experiment and see how long I can actually keep them on. I know I've had them on for like three months once. So they stay on forever. So that little bit of work that you do that doesn't take very long definitely pays off in the end. It's super cute toes for you. All right guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day.